Bunny, and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today I have a lipstick pod. It's actually called a lips kit. Sippy sippy. Before we get started. Also, oh, okay, I see what that is now. Oh, I was like, what is this? In the background, um, you guys, this is my old prom dress. <gasps> I wore this to Dogman's senior prom. This is what the packaging looked like. I'll just go ahead and like show you guys everything and then we'll get into it. It comes in this cute little tube. Look at that. <gasps> you can like crank the colors and the lips change colors on the packaging. So I'm sure you guys are already getting the idea of what this product is. It is a custom lipstick maker. Get this little bag to store all of your accoutrements in. You also get, what did I do with it? You also get this little thing and they had a warm color kit and a cool color kit and I'm gonna put both of the pictures of both of the kits in here because it literally looks like you're getting the same colors. Like I don't, I don't see any difference. Inside this little machine, you twist this off and this is where the cartridges are. So you're getting all of the primary colors. You have a white cartridge, and they only go in here in a particular way. A black cartridge, red, yellow, and blue. Then on the bottom of this machine, you have this little clear pot. So that is what you're going to be making your custom color. You like squeeze the products into here and then the actual product you make comes out of here. It'll all make sense in just a few moments. You also get technically six of these clear pots. So you get all of these. But look at how cute this is. Okay, so you mix the colors in the bottom here and then the top, oh, you like remove this little thing and it is a lip brush applicator. The other thing that it comes with is this little recipe chart. So say that you want to make this really cool green lipstick down here. So you would do four pumps of yellow, one pump of blue. That's everything it came with besides these moisture drops because they say this is how you can change the formula of the product. The product by nature is matte, which would be my preference anyway, but sometimes they say it can be a little bit too matte. So the more of these moisture drops that you add in, you can change the formula. They say from being a matte lipstick all the way up to being more of a sheer lip tint, which I think is quite fascinating. The last thing that I purchased that was like a extra add-on, which in comparison, I think that this single purple shade was $18, which just comparatively, to getting the rest of the set for 60, that's kind of expensive. But they were acting like, oh, if you get the purple cartridge, <gasps> you can make so many more fantastic colors. So the last thing that was like, I guess included is a QR code to access what I literally thought was going to be an app, but it's not. It's just like their website. But then you get all of these additional color wheel recipes, which you can click on anything on this wheel. And then you say, click to reveal a recipe. This looks a little bit like Texas toast. <gasps> Look at that. Spring and autumn, summer and winter, spring and autumn extended, summer and winter extended. So what I'm gonna try and do today is make some of the more like fun colors because I almost feel like it's, I, I hate to use words like pointless, but you know, I just feel like on the market, there is so many selections of like pinks and beiges and reds. And I almost hate to say this too, cause I feel like, you know, now we have so many brands, you know, like ColourPop that do make a lot of green lippies, blue lippies, purple lippies, but back in my old, 
gargoyle days when I first started doing makeup, those were like super rare colors. Like you got Urban Decay and that was basically it for the out there colors, which are literally not even out there anymore. So let's start priming the tubes because that is what they said you were gonna have to do was, you know, pump these products until products started coming out. And they said you might have to pump it quite a bit, please. Am I missing something? Yeah, there is product inside, right? Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any kind of seal or anything that needs to be broken. So it also does look a little bit dry in there, which I think I read somewhere on the website where they said like after you receive it in shipment, you might have to add a couple of the moisture drops because I guess the formula might be a little too matte inside of there. But you guys, this is, I probably pumped this like a hundred times. Let's see if any of the colors are gonna come out. I'm honestly a little bit nervous that our red one is broken because look at this, it's like, it's the only one that has like this crusty bit of product spillage. And I just got this in the mail. So it's not like I've had it like sitting around for a long time or anything. Y'all, all of them? It's like I'm getting that initial like click. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. And I, it, it kind of feels like product should be coming out, but it's not. I might like come back. <gasps> Hear that? How can every formula be crusty? I'm gonna try and just add like two drops, I guess. Cause I hate to like already be changing the formula. Ooh, you guys, I'm gonna have to argue that the initial formula kind of leaves a lot to be desired. I have been literally pumping these bottles for probably at least 20 minutes. I finally got the purple to prime and the yellow to prime. So in 20 minutes, I've gotten two colors. The lip product is probably as thick as a concealer. So to show you guys, I'm just gonna take one of these clean little things and let, oh my God, <gasps> you guys, I, there's no way that I can show you this, but literally like dipping, this applicator into there, like it felt like I just poked a solid lipstick in there. So there is a swatch of it. I mean, it looks really cool. Like, especially for somebody that doesn't have the greatest hand strength in the world. I just wish that there was something about either the product inside the bottle or the bottle itself that just made like the priming and setup process easier. Like if I was you guys and y'all are gonna order this, I wouldn't even like try and prime it without putting in at least like four drops of the moisturizing stuff. I know y'all are gonna think I'm so silly because sometimes I struggle with the simplest of tasks. But I mean, I double checked their website and their own instructional video, and they literally just show the setup of somebody like priming the bottles. They don't even add the moisture drops, but I mean, how long can you sit here and just do this? All right, you guys, I did almost just walk away from this product. I'm not even exaggerating. I've probably been sitting here for 50 minutes priming these bottles. Some of them, like I'm kind of concerned about how many moisture drops I had to add to the blue and the red because those were nearly impossible to get started. What I ended up doing was taking these little disposable applicators and I tried like stirring the product in the bottles because I was thinking, well, maybe the moisture drops aren't mixing with the lipstick enough to draw it through the tube. So I like stirred it a lot and I tried like clearing the, I don't even know what you would call this. I thought maybe it wasn't getting enough suction. Anyway, you guys, um, that is the boring part of this video and I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to do just one squirt, two squirts, four squirts, like whatever the recipe calls. Like I was trying to test these things. Let's see, will black still work to do one squirt? You see what I mean? Cause I get the recipe calls for one squirt. Okay, so that's what one squirt looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that they all still will dispense. See, look at yellow. That was one pump and it didn't work. Two pumps didn't work, three pumps. Whew. See on the fourth pump, 
I got that much product. Okay, the white one still works. Purple still kind of works, but look at that. Isn't that interesting? I feel like one pump equals a different amount with each of these bottles. Like, look at that. I pushed down once on red and that's all we're still getting from two pumps and blue. Let's see. There we go. There are all the primed colors loaded in. So I kind of want this like yellowy green shade right there. I really like it. So, oops, I accidentally hit the blue one. So you pick a color and then it says click to reveal. So this just looks like four yellow, one blue. Let's go ahead and do one. Oh, that did dispense. Okay, two. That looked like we got another pump. Okay, now I don't think anything's happening. Okay, that was four. That was four pumps. I hit I hit the button four times and then just one of blue, which is right here. See, that's what's so weird though, you guys. I just definitely pushed down and no blue is coming out. Okay, I guess that's our one little pump. Let me unscrew this. Does that look like one pump? Let me go ahead and take one of their little applicators there and let's mix it together. This definitely looks kind of like a slimer green color, which I'm not complaining. I did want it to be a yellowy green. Now see, that's what is really cool about this kit in my mind is these little pods. Obviously you can wash them and reuse them. And so if you just wanted to wear this lipstick, like an olive green, a lime green lipstick, you know, maybe you're just going to one special event, one special party, and you don't really think you're ever gonna wear lime green lipstick again. Well, you can just make it in this little kit and then you kind of like don't have to waste the money buying a whole tube of these more like daring colors that you don't think you're gonna wear all the time. Let's see what we have made. This really looks like it is enough for one single application. Oh, right now it feels more on the sheer side and kind of runny, like, can you guys see? Let me just finish applying it and then I'll talk to you guys in a minute. It's wild how quick my opinion of products can change because I was a little upset when I first started making this green color, I'm not gonna lie. And I wasn't even that wowed when I first started applying the product because it did seem a little patchy and a little bit runny. However, I once again switched up to using a doe foot applicator. I feel like I am more used to wearing like liquid lipsticks that have a doe foot applicator. I very rarely use a lip brush. So I think that applying it with this was easier for me to work with and kind of even out the edges. And oh my God, I love this lipstick color. I feel like as it started to matte down, any of the patchiness somehow totally went away. And the more that it matted down, the more like vibrant it became. Like I love this shade of gator green lipstick. The only thing I'm missing now is a camo jacket to put on. I feel like that would match it perfectly. And it honestly feels very nice on the lips. When I first applied the product, it felt a little oily. So once again, I was very, very skeptical, but now the product has matted down so much quicker on my lips than any of the swatches did on my hands. I don't know what is going on with this, but it feels great. I definitely feel like I could wear this for a while and it wouldn't budge, but it doesn't feel like super like too matte. If you know what I mean, I'm gonna insert a photo here of the lipstick, like the shade on the color wheel, how it looked versus how the product looks on my lips. And I kind of think that it almost turned out like this one versus this one. I think the one I was trying to make is more of like a camo olive shade. And I think the one that we got is more like a gator green shade, but I really like it. 
I love it. I think it looks great. Let's try and make another color. So I'm going to try and make this grayish kind of color. You guys know that I love that. Ooh, and uh, so we get, wow, look at this recipe. Six white, one red, one yellow, two blue. That is going to be a little bit of everything. So I loaded this a another clear pod on the bottom. So six white. Um, one. Oh, you could see that. Two, three, four, five, six. I pumped it six times. What did we get? One red, the most stubborn one. Oh, we got that pump. Okay. One yellow. There we go. And two blue, my other nemesis. The blue and the black look really similar, so I'm kind of nervous. I wanna make sure I'm getting the right one. One, two. Did it actually give us two? I think so. All right, time to unscrew this. Some of these, look at that. I feel like I have to pump the blue again because that is just definitely one pump blue. I mean, I like the machine. I think that that's cute, but I almost feel like you don't really need the holder. You could just honestly have the cartridges and maybe it would work better because then you could see if you're like pumping and getting nothing. See, that would have been, I would have thought, you got another pump of blue. Nothing came out. Two, nope. See, that was not a full pump either. See, that's the only thing that I'm kind of a little bit skeptical of, let's say, is you can't really make the formulas that accurately if you're not really able to just do one pump, six pumps, four pumps. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up with one of my little doe foot applicators. So that's what we have there. And, ooh, look at that. You guys, I don't know what we're gonna get, but so far it's looking very interesting. Ooh, okay. I'm kind of starting to see the purpley now. My skin is so dry. So yeah, here we go. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. I guess that looks pretty similar. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens when we mat it down. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one up and move on to making another color. And over here, there is this beautiful pumpkin orangey one. I feel like that's not a super typical orange. It's kind of a spicier orange. This gives us a chance to use the black cartridge. So for this one, we are supposed to have one black, one red, and four yellow. Look at that. I just feel like it's not dispensing. See, I don't feel like this formula is gonna be very accurate because I almost feel like we got like a half a pump of red and a half a pump of black. Mysterious. I don't know what we made, you guys. I've been stirring quite a bit. I'm gonna swatch what we got, but we did not get what we asked for that time. We got this. So see, I feel like definitely we probably got, I don't know, I'm like, I am baffled, you guys. I'm truly baffled by what just happened. I'm gonna try and make one that requires the purple stuff. I almost feel like making that one again. So I noticed two of the color wheels said extended. And so that's where you see the purple recipes. So what I'm gonna try and do this time is make this beautiful raspberry shade right here. And that is one purple and one red. I'm just gonna squirt it into the thing. Honestly, see two after the third pump, we got this itty bitty little squirt there. So one pump purple, one pump red. Okay, that's all we have to work with here, you guys. There's like not enough to mix there, you guys. Yeah, I feel like I, it, I, it's like drying 
on the exterior of the container as I'm mixing it together. Let's see if I can get one swatch out of that. See, that's a really pretty color. Let's make one more shade out of the extended shades. Let's try this kind of like funky gold color, even though I feel like that's just gonna be, look at that, I love that. Ooh, there is purple in this. Let's get the one purple. See, one pump didn't do it. Two, three, four, five. Five pumps and we got that itty bitty little bit. What did I say? Three yellow. Okay. One. Oh, see, look at that. Two. Got us nothing. Three. I feel like the first pump was the equivalent of two pumps though. So we're just gonna go with that. Ooh, that's a beautiful color. See, sometimes I feel like it's a little bit tricky when there's so much of one color and just one pump of the other color that's maybe a little bit trickier to get out of the dispenser. Give me just a second and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so before I swapped swapped before I swatched all the other colors. I did want to leave this first lipstick on for an extended period of time so we could see, you know, how would it wear throughout the day if you start drinking, if you do a little smooching, you know, all of the day's activities. And I'm actually really impressed. I have had this lipstick on for more than an hour now and First of all, it's kind of interesting because there is no lipstick residue on the straw, but that is the only place where I've noticed that this lipstick does, for me at least, I do a lot of sippy sippying. So that's the only place where I kind of can see some of the product starting to disappear is like right where the straw rests on my mouth. But other than that, the formula still feels great and I think it looks great. So definitely my final thoughts are, I would still recommend this product. I think it's really fun. And even though there is some troubleshooting, I would say, with getting just the right formula and, and getting the color exactly that you plan on making, I, I feel like because of the bottles, that's where we're getting all this irregularity because this one, now that it's fully matted down, this was meant to be that like rustic orange kind of color. And I mean, I like this color of lipstick, but it's not orange at all. And this one, I feel like definitely could be a little bit more raspberry as well. I love this shade and this shade and this shade most of all. So from my first time using the product, getting three out of five lipstick shades that I really love, I don't feel like that's that bad of odds. I am definitely going to keep using this product, making my own lipsticks, because like I said, I feel like there's so many days where I have a random weird outfit that, oh, I wish I had green lipstick. I wish I had blue lipstick. I wish I had black lipstick. Where you just want like a tiny, a little bit of lipstick in one of these super fun shades. I feel like this product is really good for that. I really hope that this company has a lot of success so that they can maybe go back to the drawing board just a little bit with the dispenser bottles. That is my only two big hangups is I'm definitely gonna be taking some Advil tonight because just like squeezing constantly for an hour to get these bottles to even work at all, that's a lot. And I also feel like the recipes would be so much better if you could actually get three even pumps, two even pumps, four even pumps. Kind of what they're telling you to do is almost like null and void if you're not getting the same quantity of yellow from each pump. And if you're actually using it, you know, the way that it's designed, which is to have, you know, this little thing screwed down here. Like if you 
know that it's not pumping evenly, like that almost takes away from your ability to be able to use it like that at all because you cannot see that you're getting two pumps of yellow. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, I feel like I'm kind of beating a dead horse with that because I feel like I've probably said that three times now, but overall, I'm not regretful that I bought this. I definitely will use it again. It is a lot of fun. And now that I have not pumped these bottles in like 45 minutes, let's see, will they even still pump? Or am I gonna have to prime it all over again? I don't wanna know. Oh, look, <gasps> a drop of red the first time we ask. So yeah, that does seem to hold true that after you prime it the first time, they work about as good as they ever did. So that's good. So yeah, I mean, I guess that's not as bad because it's just kind of getting past that initial point of frustration. But yeah, I would still recommend it. I still love it. And I will definitely use it again. But I would love to know, as usual, all you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator twangs. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. 